first of all, welcome to Romania. Uh, the first thing everybody will ask here is, uh, why did you choose Romania? Oh, I feel very pleased to get a question from uh, one of the biggest country in the world about the team handball. And for me right now, it's a moment again to get into this uh, warm area. Yeah, it's interesting to, to, to say this because for several years you didn't stay on the bench. So everybody asks, uh, why did you come back? I took a decision to leave V-Boy 2008 and uh, I went back to my old company and we created a new, uh, uh, new company within that uh, organization and I was responsible for that. Uh, my kids was in that moment and they want to get back to Sweden. My boy was playing ice hockey, he's now playing United States. So he wanted to go back to Sweden and I said, okay, we need to take that decision. So uh, I've been working in five years with my company and I had a contract with my colleagues and now it's time to do some handball work here again. And I'm, I've been working with handball uh, all my life, so it's nice to be back you know, at this level. Well, really at appreciate this, it. A, a very important level. Uh, what do you think about uh, Romanian team uh, results? lately because everybody here in Romania expects for a medal every time the we think the team has the potential to, to have a medal but uh, still we don't have it I think sometimes it's like the Brazilian football team they expect medal for every championships and it's not so easy uh, you have to have right uh, conditions before no injuries uh, a lot of things will happen uh, during a tournament and uh, I also have a meaning about the Romanian players. They're really good. Um, maybe we should play a little bit harder in defense. Uh, maybe you should play a little more. Sometimes keep the ball a little longer. Uh, the Romanian players are playing in like, um, a very optimistic way. And, uh, but we have a lot of technical skills and when we have a look on the uh, Junior teams and youth teams in the championships you create good results. Uh, you'll have the first meeting with the girls at the Carpats uh, Trophy, Trofeo uh, Carpats. Uh, big teams coming to Cluj, uh, Brazil, Sweden, Germany. What do you expect? Uh, do you expect from Romanian team? At yeah, this, I mean, this is the first test for me, and the first time I will work together with the players. I think we have a lot of things to do to. You know to connect the emotion and to know the players and I have to learn a lot of how they work, uh, every player and how they're working together so we can communicate in a smart way and uh, uh, this tournament also says something about Romania. This uh, three really good teams right now in the world are arriving to Romania so this is a high level tournament so that's into the fire immediately for me. Uh, will you move to Romania? And right now, I think it's some periods that I have to take uh, action on this. So, uh, of course, I want to uh, work with uh, the whole Rom Romanian Federation on uh, arrangements for youth players and so on. But right now, the mission is to go for the qualification games against Serbia. Yes. So that's the short-term goal. And for on the long term, it's to be in the World Championships and be in the Olympic Games, of course. All players want to be a, a week too in the management team. Uh, Serbia will be a tough game. Uh, Romania is a bit unlucky to, to have such hard qualification, but uh, everybody here is uh, optimistic. What do you think about uh, the Serbia game? I, I all think like that level is a 50-50 game. Uh, it's on uh, Sweden, Denmark, uh, very close border, know each other. Um, Christina Niagu is playing in Budoknost uh, in that environment, so uh, people, uh, the players know each other, so uh, I think it's really tough. And I think we can handle the situation. I got good information from uh, Bogdan and Rado that we're going to make a good analyze on how we're going to play to Serbia. And we invo involve the players, so they have a really a good feeling in the heart and the brain in the way we should attack these uh, games. Uh, in terms uh, of objectives, uh, what uh, did the Federation ask you? Uh, which are your object objectives? At this level, level, I've been a national coach in Sweden and uh, in Vibor and Ikast. Uh, all the players want to win every game, so 
that's just goal for it to be qualified for the big tournaments and when you're there you want to have the goal uh, the, it's another way to make the objectives is to break down in small pieces in, in process uh, how you handle the team using the players how we are playing defense that we have different systems in defense uh, fast break way um, the offense uh, different types of playing I mean Watching some games when Romania is playing against Norway, it's an, uh, just another game when you are playing against Germany, for example. So I think uh, we have to use in the in the in the future. You have to make more specialists of, of every player to combine that specialist. And uh, the final last question: uh, You have a huge experience in uh, handball, in coaching, but also in management. And uh, everybody is asking here if uh, you're coming to Romania to, to, to implement your ideas, not only to the national team at the biggest level, but uh, the youngest teams to the, to you, to the youth level. Uh, so do you think it's possible that uh, part of you, your experience to, to, to go deeper to the youth teams? Uh, that's a nice uh, thing about that. And I don't know so much about how the clubs are cooperating together, how the coaches are cooperating, if they are cooperating. But it's necessary in some area to create uh, a form concurrence between the clubs and you know, at some level, in the national level, that we are cooperating and bringing a lot of young players uh, in the whole country. Because that's important for the sport, handball. Um, and of course, I want to work with that, but that's a, that's a cultural question and a structure question, and it takes time to solve that. But I'm very interested to talk with Alessandro and Assisa and with Bogdan about that. And we also have some other coaches in, uh, in Romania. I know Jakob uh, and uh, Metteklit very well. Yes. So it's very interesting. <laughs> Thank you very much.